Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Justin Riley. Stick around because we've got a great show with some great local food, including stuffed pork chops, cake pops, and chicken spinach salad. It's coming up right here on The Restaurant Show where we stop by the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to eat coming up on The Restaurant Show. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We are talking about a fabulous restaurant, some of my favorite food coming out of this place. It's The Egg and I, and Stephen Dascom is joining us, the owner here in Madison, and we're so glad to see you. Thank you, Jessa. It's always a pleasure to be here. Love chatting with you because you know I love your food. I'm a big <laughs> fan. And I'm excited because one thing we've talked about, you may have seen, um, you guys have a fantastic spring menu. And mm -hmm. so we've, we've covered some of the things on here, um, which is great, and some really, really good stuff. So they still have their spring menu, yep. including the juices. Yep. So if yep. you're on the juice craze, one Still of these going. shows, I'm going to make a juice for you guys. I would love that. Yes. I, I was going to try it once before, and the machine wasn't working for me. It wasn't cooperating. Uh, yeah, because yeah. you need some equipment, but it's it's, yeah, so this is it's really deal. fresh. So. That's why mm -hmm. you need that equipment. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing you have is a new menu. Yes, so. we just did a menu change. Uh, not a lot is changed on the menu, mm -hmm. but the menu itself is different. Isn't it cute? I think it's <laughs> lovely. Well, it's good to keep things updated and fresh, and it's funny because I've been several times, as you know, and obviously have had lots of dishes, but just even having a new menu, just a fresh look, has made me realize that there are some things on here that I didn't know. Like, for example, you have a whole lot of Benedict options. Mm -hmm. So, um, really exciting things because, you know, I love chatting about food. Uh, we, we also made it a little challenging for everybody too because everybody has their comfort zone. Right, yeah. And they know what's on the menu. What we do is we rearrange the whole menu. It's, so now you have to look for stuff. Exactly. And it's like, where's Waldo? Else. That's what I think it is because I'm one of those people that orders <laughs> all my favorites all the time and that actually might help. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Okay. Now, of all of the fabulous things that you have, you know, one of my favorites, I am a fan of salad, and I mm -hmm. love seeing a nice, fresh spinach base. Yeah, so, this is all um, baby spinach. So. so we're doing chicken spinach chicken salad spinach today. Salad. Now, I was commenting before we got started, I cannot believe how much spinach comes on this salad. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really incredible. So. If you want to get in some good greens, this is the serving of the salad. Yeah, everything that I make on the show is one serving is actually what you get <laughs> in the restaurant. Right, right. So, so it's a hearty salad, but really, I mean, really healthy ingredients. Tell sure. us what's in this. So this one. is a um, um, chicken breast. So that's you know it's a lean meat. Mm -hmm. It's uh, no skin. Okay. So that's a, a nice great, great lean, ingredient. Yeah, I love chicken. This is um, just some sliced apple. And I'm, I love how you are These adding are Fuji fruit. Apples. Oh, there you go. So they're really sweet. Ah, yes, that's great. And I love add the addition of fruit to a salad. Mm -hmm. I love that little bit and of, of sweet. And of course, we have raisins and craisins. Yes, the another golden raisins and then uh, ah, cranberry. You got two raisins. kinds. Okay, another little addition of sweet. And um, of course, we have some red onion. A little bit of crunch in a there. Crunch. I like just a little bit of onion. I think that's a good addition. Too much, and right. you're going to have well, to. Everything that's in here, so far at least, you know, it's all that sweet, man. You got to cut that with something that's too sweet to me. Otherwise. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, it's extremely healthy bacon. Yes, there you go. Love bacon. <laughs> you like gotta add a little something. And uh, give us something. I think that's bad. It was around. I don't remember exactly when last year I made this lemon vinaigrette. That's our salad dressing for this one. I do. Yes, I, we watched you. So that's actually that a was really. That's one of those gadgets you love. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I love all the little tools that Steve has to make make everything. <laughs> but that's a really good point because the dressing is actually made fresh in house, which mm -hmm. I don't think is real typical. Um, and you might not know about the egg and I. And really, that's true of just about everything that you guys do is fresh uh, made in-house and so I think that's nice as to much mention. as we can we do it yeah. yeah absolutely so I'm just tossing this a little bit I and mean, you could toss it by hand too it's technically we always like to say you know the hands are the best tool you have in your kitchen mm -hmm. and get that dressing nice and combined over everything Everyone likes an evenly dressing salad I imagine mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's good well that's one of our uh, people don't always know. We have a couple of little oh, tricks, little sayings in the uh, in the egg and egg in the kitchen. It's like um, 
infinite attention to detail and a taste in every bite. So oh, this is the yeah. taste in every bite part. I <laughs> love that. Well, the detail is important too. But it also, I've noticed, it helps you use less dressing when you toss it beforehand. Oh, sure. Because oh, this one uses a little more. Um, well, there's a lot probably of Probably because there's so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the, um, the dress greens that come with as an option on most of our items on the menu only gets a tablespoon of dressing. Wow. That's it doesn't incredible. take a lot. It goes a long ways. It's, people, it's that's lot good. than people would think. Well, that keeps the salad healthy because what happens a lot of times with salads is they are really healthy, and then you drench it with dressing, oh, yeah. dressing and you may as well just had a burger, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So, although you, you have good burgers too. <laughs> we don't have the burgers. You don't have them anymore. Oh man. Yeah, they were nice. Everything that you've ever done has been good. It's surprising <laughs> to me that anything ever goes, but you got to listen to your customers, right? Right. Well, we have to make room too for all this yeah. new, new stuff. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you look know, at that. It comes down to it. Everybody's got a burger. Nice green salad. <laughs> that's you true. You got to do things that are unique to you. Ugh, oh, that's so gorgeous. I love we the bright it. green. We have, uh, I knew there was going to be cheese, right? You got to add something. Yeah, add some cheese constant. for us. Yes. <laughs> so th this, you can use a gorgonzola. This is a blue. You don't have to use as much with blue cheese because it's got such mm -hmm. an in intense flavor. So it's a nice and, way to use uh, a little less. Candied and spicy. Oh potatoes. wow! This is going to be a good salad. I'll go. let you know because I'm going <laughs> to have a taste right now. So this is available regularly on the menu, or what's is this a oh, seasonal this is, item? This has been on the menu for years. Mm -hmm. I can see why. The dressing is a little different, but that's all. That's a good one. And what's the dressing that's on here? It's the lemon, lemon vinaigrette. Lemon vinaigrette. Ooh, I don't remember what mm -hmm. all is in that one. We did it on the show. It has a lot of ingredients. Really good. Well, I can't eat the whole salad because you know how spinach is. I'll have it in my teeth. <laughs> so I'll wait till the show's over. But it's really good. Thank you so much, Steve, for joining us today. You're welcome. Steve is the owner of the Egg and I off the Beltline. Make sure you stop in. Fabulous food. We'll be back with more restaurant show coming up right after the break. Coming up next on The Restaurant Show, Cake Pops with the Chocolate Caper. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. I'm gloving up here because I'm going to be getting down and dirty with the Chocolate Caper. Welcome, Elizabeth. How are we're you? We're going to make cake pops. I feel great. That's right. All right. Here we're going to be gloving what we're about to do. <laughs> so That was for you, Jessa. Um, <laughs> So when you make cake pops, which cake we pops. do sell in our store, Those are I like adorable. to make. Can I thank just say you that? very much. Yeah. I can't stop myself. I have to make everything look like something else. So it can't. I mean, it's very fun to just do sprinkles. Sure. But it's so much more fun if it has a face. Of course. So. Yeah. Adorable. So, it's so more fun to eat when you're eating somebody's face, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is bake a cake. Which okay. magically we've already done. All right, so out of our magic TV oven, there it we is. We have a cake. Okay. But the cake needs to look like this. So you gotta so, crumble it up. So you gotta crumble it up. And okay. by you, I mean you. All right. So if Here you would go. like, get a, yeah, get mm. a nice massage. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get some crumbles in there. Yeah, crumbles is so easy. It's That's pretty nice. good. Yeah. You don't need a whole lot. This is the really fun part of frosting. You Ooh, really just yeah. need a couple of tablespoons. Okay. And then you wanna mix that up until it's about the consistency of Play-Doh. Okay. All so right, so you get a up. really good sensory experience Ooh. out of it. Like, <laughs> sensory. You can also uh, learn massage techniques this way. I'm okay. not sure, but, <laughs> so once you, that's probably pretty good Kill for Kill several birds with one stone. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So once you've got it mixed up like that. Okay, okay. Which, you know, it's it's. It'll take mixed. a while probably. Yeah, it does take a little while to get it in there. I find that it's really nice to use one of these little tiny okay. scoops and to do about, oh, look, I'm making a mess, uh, to do about two. Um, okay. Instead of getting the bigger scoop, it just okay. provides just about the right size. Okay. So depending on what you're going to want to make, you can make just a nice round ball shape, or mm -hmm. you could if we had thoroughly mixed that, okay. or you could make a shape. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So you've from got the some magic free freezer. The we magic have some TV freezer. Made. That's right. All right. This would be a shape that you would do for like an owl or some others. Okay. So it's just about the shape that you make. Okay. For that. Well, great. Yes, great. absolutely. So we are going to try. I'm going right. to take this from you. So should I take my gloves you off? You can. At this point? You okay. can deglove. Degloving. There we go. That's right. <coughs> I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> All right. And cool. so we'll remove that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make 
owls ourselves. Okay, all right. So there you have the chocolate owl, and I okay. will use the white chocolate owl. So this guy. Oh yes, I'm sorry. This guy has been. This is this with this with the first coating. That's right. Right. So, yeah. You do several coatings, right? Yeah. So there's usually two coats. Thank okay. you for that because okay. I'm not explaining myself well. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and so what you're gonna do is dip your owl. Okay. With your chocolate chip horns okay. in place. Okay. We're gonna do one of these. Just get them good and coated. And then the thing that takes a little bit of time sometimes is really shaking the excess chocolate off. Okay. Because you really want, you don't want it to be dripping. You don't want right, your face yeah. to slide down the stick <laughs> because that makes everyone sad. That's, like a that's frown. a sad face. That's right, that's, that's a, a sad, sad face. face. We don't want any sad faces. Okay. So now, so I have already, bit, well, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll make an exception for okay. your owl. All right. Your owl is challenged. We will, um, <laughs> so first you want to place the beak. So okay. this is a chocolate covered sunflower seed in yellow. Okay. And I'm going to lay it right there in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to add the eyes. Oh, that's cute. Uh, oh, see? And the nice thing about the wet chocolate is you can kind of slide it into place. Okay, so may I try and that now? Please. Because I've got my own set of eyeballs here. Be my here. guess. No, but you're oh. supposed to put on the beak oh, first. Oh, the beak first. So Sorry. you know where to put the eyes. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so there. I'm going to hold this I'm still right dripping here. too. And I want to stick the beak right about there. I'm getting chocolate on my fingers. Is that... It's, okay. that is fine for your owl that you will eat. <laughs> Not acceptable we... for one of your employees oh. though, I'm guessing. Whoa, oh. still dripping, still dripping, okay. We can't have nice things. <laughs> that's why we yeah. have ants. That's, no. that's right. <laughs> now my, my owl's looking a little wall-eyed, I'll be okay, honest Okay, well, you. you know, we come in all kinds, right? <laughs> Hey, look at that. <laughs> There's my owl. <laughs> he looks amazing. Now see, I am going to make my owl a lady okay. by giving her a little bow. And you have the same things, and some, if you want, yours could be a gentleman, and you could give him a bow tie. Oh, okay. Using the same technique. Okay. But right under his oh, gosh. little beak. I've I don't know what happened totally... to his feet. You only have one left. Oh, that's his that's foot? that's all right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. We had feet. We I had I, him. I think I put his feet right underneath his beak there. So. Well, that works too. <laughs> so then, you know, ideally you, you make this and then it has to, to dry. It's not dripping, obviously. Usually. Usually not dripping. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a hand. Okay. I'm gonna just... All right. You're just going to tap him a little bit. Okay. That's very cool. He looks fun. He looks like so delicious. <laughs> he'll taste. He'll still taste And speaking of delicious. All right. Would you like to take a bite? Oh, is this a finished one? That's a finished one. It's okay. plain. We haven't decked it out with any sprinkles or faces. Okay. But uh, I, it's guaranteed to be delicious. Okay. Well, while we're while I'm uh, taking a bite of that, we got about a minute left. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the Burlington Chocolate Festival? Which yes, you absolutely. Be a part of? So every year we participate in a festival mm -hmm. in Burlington, Wisconsin, called mm -hmm. the Chocolate the Burlington Chocolate Festival. Mm -hmm. and you have a strawberry one there. Mm -hmm. so a little chocolate Surprise! And strawberry. Um, and it is held over Memorial Day weekend. It's a really fun, family-friendly event. Big Ooh. carnival. There's an air-conditioned tent called the Chocolate Experience Tent. You can get taster tickets. We're on the taster ticket every single day of the event. And we will be there with our booth, with ourselves, being friendly, giving wow. out chocolate. Wow. And we're going to debut our fruit nachos there for the first fruit time. Fruit nachos, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. If that doesn't get you interested, I don't know what uh, does. That's right. Will you have any of these guys join me at the... We should have, yeah, okay. absolutely. These as well as our praline and several, you know, our turtles, other things that we're known for. And how many days does that go? Um, Four, four days. Four so days, it's wow. the weekend of... A Memorial Day mm -hmm. weekend. It's that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay, so, good thing yeah. to do it for Memorial it's Day lots weekend. Lots of fun. Lots Elizabeth of fun. Donahue, thank you so much for joining thank us. You and thank you for, for all the education. your amazing help. You bet. You bet. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up right after the break. Stick around. Coming up next on the restaurant show, stuffed pork chops with Club Tavern. Welcome back to the restaurant show, and as you can see, I already have my fork in my hand yeah. because I'm hungry <laughs> and Club Tavern is in the house. Fauzi joins us again. Welcome, Fauzi. How are you? Thank ya? you. How are you? Good. I'm, I'm great. I'm great. So, you. you know, what I love most about Club Tavern is, um, you know, it's, it's a tavern, obviously. It's a tavern, yeah. But it's not your traditional tavern food. I mean, you cook some really good yeah, food Yeah, real there. food. We, uh, you have to change to, uh, for 
other customers to taste different food. Right. You know, I I bring a lot of special every day, and uh, it's, I do a, sometimes I cook regular like a lasagna, sure. uh, ma, like Sunday and on uh, Monday you can have lasagna for five ninety five mm -hmm. with the garlic bread. Yeah. Ooh. You know, every Monday okay. and on Sunday nights. You know, in uh, Wednesday, I do stuffed chicken with spinach and fada cheese. At Club Tavern, folks. And Club <laughs> Tavern, yes. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So you got specials each day of the week there? Uh, always uh, I do special, every okay. day. Okay. Yeah. Well, if we got some time, we can talk about that. But I want to get into the cooking part of this. Sure. Show. So you guys, you're, you're going to be doing some stuffed pork chops. So what's yeah. our first step here? First step, you have to open pork chops. Okay. Can you get that okay? So you're just literally yeah. cutting it and, yeah. and fly it. it, yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, and then you're, is this uh, what a lot of mixed seasoning? Oh, okay, mixed seasoning. Mm. Now you're using. I'm noticing that you're using bone-in pork chops. Can yeah, bone-in. Yeah, you can. Bone in. Can yeah, you, can, use, yeah, you use can use bone nuts too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and what is this? This looks really good. This is stuffing, homemade stuffing. Okay. You know, everything from fresh from Cavern Club. Okay, all right. We don't do boxes, we don't do frozen. So, can you tell us what's in that stuffing? Are you allowed to give away the secret? Yes, onion, celery, and uh, chicken stock. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, all right. I'm liking it already. So, we just fry it a little bit? We just fry it a little bit. and okay. uh, Awesome. And um, I want to make sure that we get a chance to talk about some of this stuff here. Um, mm -hmm. We have Easter buffet coming up, so tell us a little bit about what's coming up for Easter and what you oh, got on the buffet. In the buffet, we got uh, most uh, ham, turkey, and uh, uh, pork chop, pork loin. And you had pri prime rib. Prime rib. I was going to say you got some prime rib. Yeah. There. Traditional and, uh, breakfast fare at all. It's fair, yeah. And okay. uh, breakfast, too, we have an omelet and okay. uh, uh, dessert for uh, Easter. Okay. You know, what time great. That, what time does that start? Uh, it starts 7 o'clock. Wow. In the okay. Wow. All right. You know. 7 o'clock in the morning, and then it goes till when? I'd go to uh, maybe till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Till the food's gone? Maybe. Gone, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, but that's all you can eat. People can All go. you can eat, yes. Wow. Yeah, if you are interested in that, and I think you should be, check it out. Uh, give them a call, find out pricing if you want. Do yep. you have to reserve seats or anything like that? I don't have to. Okay, you, you just, know, just, just come in, just first come, come in, first yeah, serve? First serve, yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Yeah, uh, like we said, like I said earlier, you know, not your typical tavern food. I mean, it is really, really excellent food. Yeah, there, it's, so. uh, you can have it in a tavern. You don't have to drive to downtown. You, right, you exactly. Know, you know. Kind of a neighborhood hangout. And hangout, out. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, volleyball is coming, and uh, it's uh, everybody come and have a great time and good yep. food. Yep. And volleyball, all you got to do is call, stop in, and maybe even go to the website to um, sign up for volleyball. So those volleyball leagues are starting up. Yeah. How long does that typically take to cook? That's most like uh, a couple minutes each. Yeah, time? a couple minutes okay. each side. Okay. Very good. Now. In the meantime, maybe while that's cooking, could we show some of the other things? Like maybe you're, um, you brought some dessert for us too. Yeah, right? dessert. Well, you know, we make some baklava. Okay. It's a homemade Ooh. baklava. Baklava at Club mm. Tavern. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I am a big fan of baklava, of course. <clears throat> we plate that up there, maybe. The pork chop is done, and now we're kind of cooking the veggies here. So veggies, yes. you literally just kind of cook it in the, the meat juice. Uh, meat juice, yeah. yeah. It, it gives a little bit of with, uh, with fresh garlic. Yeah, and uh, we talked about this uh, kind of in between takes here, and you um, you press that garlic. What does that do again? It's like you you press it, you like you squeeze the juice from it. Okay. You know, when you cook it, that juice, sure. it gets to oil and uh, you give it a good fiber to it. Yeah, okay. I'm so, I'm so jealous of the flip, how people can just do that. I can't, I can't do that at all. Maybe it just takes practice. I'm sure it just takes practice. Now we go take a chili tomatoes. Okay. I'll move this out of the way for you here. <clears throat> Cut in half. Yeah.
And is, do they have to go on later? Is that kind of you want to get the beans yeah, a head start? Yeah, get the uh, beans a little bit cooked. Okay. And uh, a little bit seasoned. Sure. All right. Very nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and we've got just a few seconds left. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and, and go into now, our magic TV oven yeah. here. Now we can put tomatoes. <clears throat> and this right here is what comes out to you from the kitchen, folks. Yeah. So that looks very, very nice. Well, I'm excited to try this. And mm -hmm. um, Fauzi, you always bring such great food here. And Thank you. If you are interested in finding out what the Club Tavern has to offer, head on down there. Check out their menu. They're always adding new things. They're always experimenting. Always special. Always specials. They're always yeah, special. In the morning and the night. Fauzi, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Us. Thank you. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up right after the break. Stick around. Thanks so much for joining me here today on The Restaurant Show. I hope that when you're out and about looking for a place to eat or at the local grocery store, you consider any one of these fantastic locally owned restaurants. That's all the time we have for today on The Restaurant Show. This is Justin Riley reminding you that life is too short to eat average. <laughs>